What's going on everybody? Before you watch this video, please like and subscribe. I want to talk a little bit about the setup I was using today in uh, the videos. I uh, had an incredible day as you guys saw. 14 bass, 12 keepers. You know, If we had a tournament on that lake that day, there's no doubt I would have won. Uh, I know what I totaled out on. Did I reach 90 inches? I definitely did, but it's a little higher than that, so you guys will see that in the video. Um, the setup I was using was a uh, Shimano Sitica. They actually don't make this reel anymore. Um, they replaced that line with the uh, SLX series. I got 50 pound Power Pro Braid and I got a Strike King uh, KVD Sexy Frog on there, black. That's the best frog color you could use if you can only pick one frog color, it has to be black. And that's basically all I throw. Favorite Phantom Rod, and this is a 7 foot medium heavy. A uh, fish is more like a heavy though, it's rated up to uh, 1 ounce. So any rod that's rated up to an ounce is pretty good for frog fishing. Um, I usually throw heavies, but this rod, like I said, fishes more like a heavy than a medium heavy. And uh, I got a couple different types of setups for frog fishing for different situations. And of course, I was fishing out of my uh, native Slayer Propel 10. I just cleaned her off. A lot of pollen yesterday when I was out in the water, so just gave her a little rinse down. There's my catch board. And uh, I got everything taken off of it at the moment, but did some needed upgrades with the tires and the wheels and stuff. So maybe I'll do a video about uh, more in depth on what I did. Uh, in the future but thanks for watching and please stay tuned for more videos go just a little one but we will take it it's a start go just a little bass. There's always some kind of fish over here. Just because there's so much bait on this tree usually. There's a fish. Yeah. That will keep. Of course, we're not keeping them today. We're just measuring them for tournament purposes. But I saw something dart off as soon as my lure started, as soon as I made a cast over there, and then there ended up being a bass there. So there might be another one, actually. Not running a uh, fish finder today. Not running a fish finder today because I just, I know where these fish are now. So the water temp isn't fluctuating that much, but 13 and a half. Get off the frog. We don't like you. Finally, that's a nice bass. All right, there we go. It makes up for the one we lost not too long ago. Look where that frog's at, guys. Swallowed. That's a nice one. Let's get her on the board. So, so far, I think we got a 13 and a half. This one will probably go, I'd say, 15 at least. Yeah, 15 and a half. All right, there's a look at him. 15 and a half. Ate the froggy. It's three bass now. Yep. That's a big one. You guys saw that, right? That's a big bass. Oh no, and he's barely hooked too. Yeah, baby. Four pounder. Four pounder on the frog. Man, he's a big fish. Damn, look at that, the hook just fell out. I, that's why I was trying to get him in the net. I saw that he was barely hooked. 
Oh my god, I almost lost him there. Oh man. I need you to calm down, girl. Look at that one. That's not a four pounder, but I'd say at least three. Let's get a length on her. 18, it's touching. 18 and a half. Almost 18 and three quarter, actually. That's a nice one. Now we're not going to get a weight. It's at least a two and three quarter, three pound bass. It's number four. There she goes. That's what we were looking for today. One of those 18 plus inch fish. I caught so many fish that size out of here last year. It was, it was actually insane. Wow, that is the most soaked I've ever gotten from a fish. <laughs> Set the hook and his ass went flying. It's not even a keeper, like, I bet you the camera's soaking wet. Wow, I am so wet. I see that? Dangled it from the tree. It's a big one. Ah! Yeah, baby! Holy crap, that's huge. Did you guys see that? I dangled it from the tree and he got it. That one is an easy four pounder at least. Holy crap. That is at least four pounds. Yeah! <laughs> I dangled it from that tree and he came out and grabbed it, guys. Oh, he's got a welt, some kind of injury. That is a huge bass. Look where that frog's at. Just came out. Let's get a length first. Touching. Oh yeah. 19 and a quarter. 19 and a quarter. Let's get a weight on that one, huh? It's three... 370, I think, but she won't stop moving. Yeah. All right. So 3.70. So almost a four pounder, guys. That's three and three quarter. That is a toad. Beautiful fish. 19 and a quarter. There she goes. All right, so that's four keepers now and two shorts. So we got six bass and a pickerel. Did you guys see that? There's number five. All right, well that's seven bass now, but that makes our fifth keeper. Geez, it was overcast and rain in the start and the sun's come out and these fish, these fish are here. Touching 14 and a half. We got 14 and a half. It's a nice bass. We still have a lot of spots left to hit today, guys, so we are well on our way to a solid limit. So now we got a call. That's seven bass and a pickerel. Smallest is 13 something, I think. There's a big one. That's a big fish. And he's going nuts. Yeah, that's a big bass. Let's go, baby. Number eight, that's gonna call a fish. Look where that frog's at. Swallowed. This guy goes, I'm gonna say 17. Damn, he just misses 18. He's 17 and three quarter. 17 and three quarter. 
There we go. Number eight, that calls a fish out. So we got a 19 and a half, I think, an 18 and three quarter, a 17 and three quarter, a 15 and a 14 for our best five so far. We caught eight bass total. Big one, big bass, got him, let's go, it's another 17, he might even go 18, look at that, ah, he's not 18, but it's another solid bass, guys, look at that, the hook just fell out, <laughs> that is our ninth bass of the day on the frog. See how much this one goes. This is definitely going to call out that 14. 17 and a half. Lip is touching. 17 and a half, guys. It's another solid bass. They're beautiful back here, aren't they? Bass. Oh my god, it's a five pounder, guys. Holy shit. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit, it's monster, guys. Oh my god, that is a five pounder. That is a five freaking pound bass. Look at the head on that thing. Holy crap. On the frog, guys, we're having an incredible day on the frog. Look at that fish. Look where it's at, it's swallowed. I had a feeling I was gonna catch a five today. Look at that, I can get my whole hand in her freaking face. We're on our way to a 90 inch limit, guys. This is a 20 inch bass, easy. Let me see. 21 inch bass. Lip is touching. 21 inch bass. Wow. That is a monster, guys. First, let's uh, get the scale out uh, and it's a little spawned out I mean it's it's at least a four pounder for sure let me just get her in the water for a second Let's see how much she weighs oh man it's so close four six five all right guys here goes the release of this ginormous bass on the frog she's a little spawned out so let's let her go here just hold her there. You're ready to go, buddy. All right, there she goes. Can we get 90 inches today, guys? Can we get 90 inches? 21, we got a 21 inch bass, a 19 and three quarter, I think, an 18 and a half, a 17. We might already be there with those two big ones. There's a big one. Come on, guys. I need one more 18, I think, to hit 90. I don't know if this one's going to do it. Okay. That's not 18. Might call out our 15, though. 15 and a quarter. Almost 15 and a half. There we go. All right. 11th bass of the day. There's a nice one. Didn't take it very hard. You guys saw that. All right. It's number 12. Again, I don't think that's going to call anything. It's like another 15. Let 
uh, 14 and three quarter. I could probably stretch in the 15, but still, it's a nice bass. Number 12. I think we've got 10 keepers today. 10 keepers and two shorts. Look at that. This frog was brand new to start the day almost, and now it's done. That's mainly because of the pickerel that it caught on it. So I'm going to retie. I got another one of these lined right up in the box. So, all right. So we're going to grab another one of those KVDs. These are on sale. If you guys, uh, excuse me, if you guys shop at uh, Tackle Direct, these are on sale for 4 dollars They have an overabundance of them, so they're just trying to get rid of them. I've already bought like 10 of them. I'm probably going to go buy a bunch more just so I have them. But that's how I carry my tackle in this Yak Attack uh, black pack. I don't try to bring a lot with me. I try to just bring enough or what I know works. Um, I've been doing a lot of tournament fishing lately, and I don't film really my tournaments. At least I haven't started to. It's just because when I'm tournament fishing, I want to focus on fishing. I don't want to focus about filming, but I might start doing videos on that one day. Um, but when you're tournament fishing, carrying less is better just because it keeps you from getting scatterbrained. You know, just use what you know works. Don't try to do anything new or fancy. Do that on your fun days. That's a big one. That might be our 18. Holy shit, guys. I think we got 90 inches today. Look at that one, huh? Wow. Look where that frog's at. I think we got 90 inches with this fish, guys. That's number 13. Hammered that frog. Oh yeah, he's over 18. He's touching. 18 and a half. 18 and a half. Guys, we got over 90 inches now. I think our smallest fish is a 17 and three quarter. 18 and a half. Holy crap. What a day, guys. Look at the size of that fish. Two and a half, two and three quarter pounds. Beautiful fish. All right, we got a, that... That rare New Jersey 90 inch limit, guys. And I got it on a frog. <laughs> that is so much fun. Wow. There's another one. It's a good one too. As big as he is, I don't think he's gonna help. That might be another 18 though. Nah, he's like a 16. Holy crap, guys. They love the frog on this lake. Let's see how big this one is. So that's our 14th bass today. It is our 12th keeper. Our 12th keeper on the frog. Let's see. He's 15. Oh, hold on, he's touching 16. That's another, that's a 16, 16 inch bass. And that's not going to help the calls today, believe it or not. That is not going to help our calls. 16 inch bass. So we got 14 bass now, guys. That is insane. This is how I remember it last year. It was this good last year on this lake, too. There's another one. Oh, I lost him. Good bass, too. You guys saw that? He barely took it. He kind of just slurped it. That was another 16, 17 inch plus bass. Look, there he is jumping. You see that? Still thinks he's shocked. He's hooked. It's another big bass. I had him going this way, and I was trying to get him. I didn't want to switch angles on the rod and pull the hook out, but I just kept tried to keep going the same way with it. Another solid fish of fishing area for today. There's a couple laydowns here that usually hold fish in the spring, 
and if you can see around me it's like yellow we have a, like a front coming through right now and the pollen is just blowing around like crazy like in the middle of a pollen storm but uh, it's actually getting late anyway it's the reason why I'm getting ready to head out of here 6:30 now